How's it going guys? I'm in Tampico, Tamaulipas, Mexico. Today we're going to check out some of the best seafood places that the city has to offer. We're also going to check out the famous Torta de la Barda. And people say that if you did not eat a Torta de la Barda while you were in Tampico, you did not come to Tampico. So, let's go see what's for chow. All right, so I'm making my way to the Tortas de la Barda. It is actually a barda. That's why they call them Tortas de la Barda. But it's a bunch of food uh, stands, and they're all along uh, Barda. That's why they call them Tortas de la Barda. And we're gonna check out which one is the good one, or which one is the most original one. Go check them out. There you have them, like I mentioned before. They're called Tortas de la Barra because they're along all this wall right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, five places. And I heard the one is called the uh, Don Rene. That one is the most original one. Um, it's been here since 1928, 1928. So we're gonna go check out that one. And from there, we're gonna go to another place. Let's go see what's for chow there. We have the most famous Torta de la Barda. We got Jessica here. She's going to tell us how to prepare the Torta. She's going to tell us how to prepare the Torta. So, how do you prepare the Torta, Nilda? The Torta de la Barda lleva lo que es frijol. Tres rebanadas de jamón. Queso amarillo. Queso de puerco. Tomate. Cebolla. Aguacate. Chorizo, queso blanco y carne cebrada. And the final product is this famous torta de la barda. So there we have it, famous torta de la barda. As you guys can see, uh, this right here is uh, it's a hot sauce made out of uh, chicharrón. It's supposed to be hot. I like a lot of hot sauce. They gave me lemon water or agua de limón. Uh, pretty nice. They put it in their own little container. So we're gonna check it out. And let's add some hot sauce. Like I said, it's pork. It's hot sauce and pork. Torta de la barda. Let's get some chow. This bread is called barra or bolillo. It's fresh. They bring it every morning. Soft. Pretty good. This is one of the most common places where people eat. Every time you come here, it's a must. I agradezco la atención. Estuvo muy rica la torta y there you have it, guys. The famous torta de la barda and that was thank you, chao. Thank you. Behind me is a mercado from Tampico. Uh, there's a lot of food in there, a lot of seafood, uh, a bunch of everything. There's tortas also. There's a famous torta called Tortas Don Pepe. 
I believe. He used to make the tortas from sardines. So let's check it out. So we found it, Tortas Panchos, and I was wrong. I thought it was Pepe's, but it's not Pepe's, it's Tortas Panchos. I was corrected a bunch of times. We're gonna order a torta, we're gonna see how he prepares the torta, and we're gonna eat it, and we're gonna eat some good chow. So he's preparing a torta right now. The original one has everything. Uh, avocado, the onions, the uh, chorizo, frijoles, Yellow cheese, white cheese, tomatoes, the pork cheese. Also, you, you guys can see the bread. It's fresh. They bring it every day. There you have it. The one that I have right now is the original torta, which he added all the ingredients with the extra ingredient, which is sardinas. Let's see if we can find the sardinas. He added some sardines. Reason for that is because the original tortas they were made out of he only the only ingredient was uh, sardines. So with the years, sailors came in because it's a port city here in Tampico. The sailors came in, they started giving them ideas. They added ham, they added the white cheese, the fresh cheese, the yellow cheese, the pork, and that's how he came up with with that. The famous torta. So this is tortas de la barba from Mr. Pancho. Señor Pancho. And like I said, we're gonna try it out. I've never tried it with uh, sardines, so we're gonna check it out. It's a lot. Well, it looks the same, but it has a different taste. Maybe because they buy their ham from another place, from different places, I don't know. I can taste the sardines. It gives a different flavor. It enhances the flavor of everything because it's a different type of meat, I guess. So it's pretty good. So that was it. Tortas Pancho. Really good. The sardine gave them uh, an extra flavor. Thumbs up on that one. And let's go see what's for chow. Next spot we got Tacos El Verdín. These tacos are classic here in Tampico. We're gonna check them out since we're here and let's see what's for chow. Miss Juanita, she is making the tortillas, fresh tortillas. They're actually making the tortillas from scratch and we have another lady that she cooks the tortillas and that's why these tacos are pretty good because everything is made here fresh and there's another section right here where they prepare the tacos and that's how they do it so there you have them tacos el verdin they are made out of cochinita that's what i was told cochinita which is pork i do not know how they make cochinita it's a bunch of seasoning and they come up with cochinita but they're, uh, they're really good, they're simple. They have lettuce, fresh cheese, the handmade tortillas like I said before, and that's it. Those are the tacos El Verdin. We're gonna try them out and uh, looks like a good chow. That is salsa. They claim it's hot, so we're gonna try it out. Really good. Mm. Hot sauce is hot, and it's really good. <laughs> Agua de tamarindo. It's hot. So, 
that was it for uh, Tacos El Verdín. They were really good. The pork was good. Everything was good. It was kind of light, even though it was pork. But I guess because it, has a, it had a lot of uh, lettuce, fresh cheese. The hot sauce was hot. That was no joke. I can still feel it. I mean, overall, thumbs up. If you're in Tampico, you should come to Tacos El Verdín. Gracias. Here you have them. Gracias. Hasta luego.